that's like saying, oh, Shakespeare didn't make too many grammatical errors. You know, it's, it's like that. So there must be like some kind of, I don't know, thing called math in the sense that like, okay, when, when, uh, somebody writes a song and it's really good and they don't have to know anything about music theory. In fact, you know, most music theory is descriptive, not pres prescriptive, like you mentioned. Um, it, it, it works because we hear it and we like it. With math, when we talk about it, ma mathematicians seem to pretend that there is a formal system. It, it's, it's like, it's not, it's not arguing to your intuition. It's not arguing, do you like this proof? It's arguing, do you think that this is true? So there's some kind, is there like an organ or something like that in the same way that I can appreciate music that gives me access to truth? Or I don't know. Uh, I don't think, I don't think mathematicians are oracles who magically feel what's true and what's not true. Any serious mathematician has had a situation where they thought that they proved something. They thought it was true. And then, you know, one, one morning in the shower, they said, oh my God, there is a problem. And then it all crumbled. So I think if you're a serious mathematician, you know that your intuition about what is true is a very valuable thing because it directs you but it has to be your results must be verified by proof must be because the intuition will go wrong so i don't think there is a mathematician who has never gone wrong thinking that something's true but then it after maybe a while it became clear to them that it's not actually that they, they were wrong 